Who says I have a bad attitude? No. Well, everybody's been told. <laughs> I have a bad attitude and I'm no, negative. No, we need to get a radio station. We need to. Because that, man, we would have. Oh. Are we on? Are hey, we? Happy New Year, Midlifers. We didn't see you walk in. How you doing? Oh. Having our philosophical talks and saying, damn, we should film an episode. So now we turn on the camera and I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we'll just leave that up to Betty and all the fun stuff happening in the world. Did you have a good groundhog today? We did. Yeah, I got the dog funny. forever. Yeah, that's why I go out quarterly because it takes me the whole three months to recover. Yes, we just recovering from a fantastic Groundhog Day party. It was fun. It was a blast. Never realized how Pocatani or Poxitani Phil was looking at me on the table. <laughs> you must you grab that video because what when that rock star. All right. When I was sitting over there, you was, you were Beth. I don't know who did it, but uh -oh. when I downloaded the pictures and the videos and was going through them, I saw things on my friggin' table that didn't belong there. Uh oh. I guess I was sitting on that side with the ground, the inflatable groundhog, so I didn't see it. Oh, and right. Brian, with his stuff out on oh, the friggin' table. Oh, I didn't even notice that. You didn't take that video? No. Somebody grabbed my camera and took videos of that. Yeah. It must have been Beth. But oh my God. I don't. I couldn't even be like. I don't remember that. Yeah, I would. If I saw your table by the front, I have to go. That's garbage. We have to go through. Oh yeah, how huh? disinfect. I did. I did this. Well, I know. I know that. Um, yeah, you have to see those pictures and videos later. Apparently. Oh my. It was quite the party, huh? <laughs> It really, really, really was. Child. And there's, uh, you know, I'm tossing off the midlife because I've been an idiot my whole life. So I'm good on it. But that St. Germain stuff, they had stuff in this beautiful bottle. All it said was St. Germain. had a little tag and it said mix with white wine. It did say that? Mix with yes. white wine? What do you mix with white wine? So we were trying to do this. But no, I was drinking beer so I didn't want to mix drinks. So I only drank the St. Germain. Did it really say that in the bottle? Yes, and it had nothing. Told you no alcohol content, no anything. So when we looked it up, it takes care of asthma, takes care of something else, and apparently that with the rest of the mixology I <laughs> took part in. Um, yeah, it made for a couple really, really bad days afterwards. But it was fun. So anyway, we'll go off of that rant. We had too much fun, and that one, I don't, when you kept saying about, you know, you and Beth were so funny with those things, I'm like, oh my god, I can't even remember the last time Beth and I got to go out and just party. Really? I'm not missing it, because I have a great time when I do, and then, I love my cub, and she came home, and she had been out, and we both hugged each other and said, I like home. <laughs> well, it's good for her to miss you, too. Oh, yeah. And then I, when I was leaving to get her, and I was told, do not come to my house, I do have the messages where she cried. So, uh, oh, we're past that. Though. We're past that. Now we want to just have... We're going to have the kid rock, or kids rock, or something, so that they can play their music. So she gets the full full extent of the jam without the adult. Yeah, actually, extras. we're two broke, unemployed, disability, cancer, single mom. My kids, I'm a single mom too, but the kids are pretty much raised. However, we have a ton of business ideas. If you want to invest in us, contact me. Okay, go ahead. Well, we'll let you know what they are, but we're not going to say them, like, right now. No, no. But we're serious. No, because our ideas will get steal by some guy, and he'll go off and make a million, and we'll still be sitting here broke. That's yeah, okay. But, but anyway, you know what? Spring's coming. I'm pretty happy, so being broke, at least I can manage my money, because I have none. It's <laughs> all <laughs> that open change. I like, yeah, that, that's why I did all over my house. We can live on the change that's all over my house. Wait, it's going to get worse now. Why? With the Obamacare and stuff, it's gonna get worse. The jobs already there's far the more part time jobs than full time jobs. Well, that worse. Yes, but you know what? That needs to be the regulation because employers. You know what? I'm an office manager. I used to make twenty three bucks an hour working forty five hours listen, a week. Listen, from a business standpoint. Now they're part time jobs at twelve bucks an hour. Standpoint. If you lease your employees from a temp agency, you have none of the overhead. You may pay. They might pay $28 for this person. The temp agencies well, pay. The this, Obamacare is changing listen. it because Obamacare, if you have a full-time employee, you're paying a $3,000. And that's why they're not doing that. So now you're what they're doing, now I'm can I finish? Gonna have to pay. Can I finish? Wait a minute. I'm going to have to pay for not, I'm broke and can't afford 
medical but insurance. But what I'm telling haven't you. Haven't seen a doctor in three we're years. We're not talking about you. We're talking about the reason it happens. The reason it happens is business, big, big business. We but do. I'm part of the people. It is I about me. I understand that, but not if you let me say where they're coming from, then we sit there and attack at it at that. You haven't. Big business does that so they don't have to incur any of their costs. Oh, when you lease from Common there. knowledge. We all know Shut that up. for Congress. One minute, let me finish the thought, and then you can say it. When they pay $28 to an agency, and the agency pays the worker 14 and Not even that anymore. Yeah, well, because it's usually whatever they that worker brings yeah, home, the agency Yeah, we don't get gets. that. The companies have been well, doing that for a long time. Well, can I finish what my time. thought is? Yeah, but the what's reason... The thought? What are you getting mad? Aren't we supposed to have yeah, a discussion? Yeah, you just told me to shut up, but what's the thought? Yeah, because I'm trying to say something. Say it. I'm trying to, when business does that, and if it's not stopped with laws from doing that, from using these temp companies, it's like insurance companies with the medical. You got a middleman. You don't need them. More laws don't fix problems. That's it will fix. It will. It fix. will not. You've got to regulate. <laughs> You've got to regulate business. You've got to regulate the way they're allowed to do the employment this way. You don't think there's laws, profit. there's loopholes, and there stuff. are four people who hear all the complaints of Rhode Island workers in the state of Rhode Island. If you call up to complain to the labor board, what I did when I had massive surgeries and the guy fired me and said I couldn't do my job, I went to complain to the labor board. There were four people and two were out on maternity But wait a minute. You only need four people to run a labor board when you have a law in the books I'm called... The process every when you complaint. have a law in the books called work at will, which means me, as your employer, I can fire you today, even though you just gave me 10 years of dedication, hard work, you've been there and did it all. If you walk in today and I'm in a mood and I don't like the color of your hair or the shirt yeah. you're working and I'm just pissed. That's what I'm because saying. Because I'm pissed because I haven't been laid. I'm, yep, you're fired. No reason at all. If there's no, I can just fire but, you. And when no you reason. go, that's what I'm saying. Though. And when you They're go to the labor board, they can't help you because the law says, ah, oh, that worker will. They can fire what you for I'm no reason. What I'm saying is when you call up to make a complaint with the labor board, there are four people processing the entire state's complaints. Yeah, and those I so called up in October. Doing unemployment too, I called up. I called up in October to file, and it wasn't put in until the following May. Yeah. Then, as far as it goes with employers being able to do that and fire you, that's what I'm talking about. Just the same way they have, they've got to be limited to what they can do. But every one of them has the ability to say, "Well, I'm taking my company and moving it," and that's what they do. When you have your profit, profit's always going to. Went out over This is where it happens. Profits don't happen here. Because of all the owners. laws, not really. They're paying a workman's comp, which well, is like 23% of your payroll. When a business payroll moves, tax. When a business moves from Rhode Island to Massachusetts, Now, now the Rhode city Island of Warwick to... taxes your inventory, so besides paying your state tax, you're paying an inventory on what you got left over at the end of the year and paying a property tax on your inventory to the city of Warwick. Businesses have a hard time making That's a profit. That's right. And now you throw in Obamacare, and if I have 40, 50, 1 employees, I'm paying $3,000 tax. Again, with the medical. Because it's a tax. Call it what you want. It's a tax. medical. Get the fucking... Get why, the would I wanna, why would I want to have all these full-time employees? So you're going to cut you all down to 30 out, 29 hours, so you have half a paycheck. Oh, well. And now you're going to buy it, yeah. line, And now you're going to pay for the medical. Yep. Yeah. And now I haven't seen a doctor in three years. I'm 50 years old now. Can I get a blood pressure check at least, please? But no, nope. yes. I'm going to get fined, even though I'm too poor to pay for a doctor. I'm going to get fined. I'll tell fined. you right now, you want to find me, my money goes to getting a gallon of gas, a gallon of milk, and some bread. So find me taking care of my... What costs more, a gallon of gas or a gallon of milk? Right now, I think, I don't know. Uh, right now, it's, uh, they're pretty equal. Is that bad, sad? Yeah. Cause I ain't drinking. I'm not having milk, cereal with kerosene. Milk squeezed out of a cow costs as much as Petro. I mean, come on. <laughs> America. <laughs> Actually, America, I think it was pretty Why do we want to go to America? Because if you're a foreigner, it's great. <laughs> it's just if you're born here, it's not So that means well. can we jump over the fence, uh -uh, change yeah. our name to Rodriguez, and then cl climb back in? No, no. In other countries, they shoot you if you do that. I know, that's right. In ours, they give you a house and some credit. <laughs> so we couldn't even get over the fence long enough to jump back in. Honey, I ain't going over no fucking fence. <laughs> <laughs> done. No, I think it's time we sit here and we just start asking in our own area why. Why? I've been asking why for for so long that That's Bob it. Kerr did an article four years ago because I'm asking why, why, That's why it. is the Rhode Island 
taxes coming after me five years later? Well, and why are these employees all stuck to work for? Why are they not accountable for why anything? Why can't I afford this medical bill? I thought I was in having a heart attack. Speaking of not accountable for anything, the first entity, the Dedarians, came up in the news yesterday because they the haven't paid their boys. million dollars. Poor boys? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a good one, guys. <laughs> poor boys? Are you fucking kidding me? Those greedy fucking money grubbers did not have... You mean those two business owners who had part-time employees and weren't really required by law to have workman's comp because that was the law. They're not counted as employees. They're the owners of a corporation. Okay, that's not what I'm saying at all. And their employees were part-time. Right, we're not talking about that. And the kitchen was rented, leased out. They didn't own employees in the kitchen. We're not talking about that. Again. They were required to have workman's comp. Who's talking about that? That's not even what I'm bringing up. Can I say my point? Go ahead. Okay. You they didn't pay their fine for okay. having workman's comp. Again, happen. you're not letting me say Go ahead. What I'm asking you is, did you know that as the fire was going and people going out, one of them stood there and told the people, grab the cash register, get the money? You know that? Did you know that when they said that they There wasn't the Dedarians. They weren't there. They were. They were not there. The one, of them, one of the boys they, were there. They were not there. Well, I'm not getting into it, but I... They just about. owned it, the business. They didn't run the business. They owned that. They they were there. They were hands on. No, I don't think so. They were hands on. We used to go there all the time. They Me were hands on. Anyway, anyway, aside from that, here it is. Here it is. The first entity that got released of any responsibility how come, how the come state of Rhode Island. Can I? Can I just finish? Can I just finish? When they turn around, the first entity to get released of any responsibility to the state of Rhode Island legally within three or four days. Yes, fire marshals. Absolutely. And you know what gets me is the state of Rhode Island, it never would have been like that. The state, not towns and cities and all that shit. The state of Rhode Island took tax money. The state of Rhode Island took all this. New food was going. New booze was going. New all that stuff was going. Why are they not accountable for any of it? Not Why accountable not? for any of it. Because the state can say, ooh, Why I'm wouldn't not. the fire marshal who approved the place with the... Oh, yeah. A grand, yeah, grandfathered in and all that Why shit. Why does he get immunity? Okay, so then how do you explain Jeff it's Dedarian, his responsibility Jeff to make Dedarian a buying case. the sound, the soundproofing materials when he had done an expose on that same material in the hazardous, how hazardous it was, with a news thing from another job. Well, why it's did, all money, it's all profit because profit. Then why did he get a business permit, a building permit, profit, and the fire marshal approved it? Profit. So. But then the bottom line you is the stupidity of the idiot fault. that lit it off. But you can't say when they, when they, all these fines and it's all this time later. And, they and you know what? The Why shelter? do we have to say it's your fault, your fault, no, your fault. You know, oh, you know everybody what? donate your money. It was a when bad, there's a problem. It was a Sometimes bad. Sometimes shit just happens. It's yeah. a negative thing. It was, it was, it just there's was There's been a, worse problems. There's been already a worse fire. It was fire. a bad choice. Yeah, it was a bad choice. And a poor kid has to live with it. A lot of people have to live with it, yeah. but that life on the negative planet. when it comes down to it, it comes down happen. to money, people put money above anything else. Yep. And anybody sold And out. you know what? A hundred families get affected, and it's a terrible tragedy, and it sucks, and oh my God, my heart breaks. More but than yeah. How many people just got shot in Iraq yesterday, and we're not talking about that? How many girls just got raped in India? Yeah, like, well, but you know what? Kids. You do have to talk about what happened here. Not there. It's you do, and that. it's a tragedy. Oh, it's terrible. Move on. And let's try to prepare ourselves before the next tragedy happens. Yep. And what, ha what came out of that but tragedy? No, but my, all I'm not talking what about... What came out of that tragedy? Rhode Island Yet drag again, the businesses got screwed. Because the businesses, they said, oh my God, this tragedy happened? Let's not look at the state's involvement in part of the project. Let's put all yeah. these new laws in now. But all you know what that businesses means? Is why, driven out of why wasn't it safety before the fire? You don't think that you, sh you shouldn't, you know what I mean? Why it's, It didn't just all come about and now all of a sudden everybody had to have these sprinkler systems. The fuck, don't you do these, in, 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 don't you inspect? Like, shouldn't right. they have all been in effect exactly. at the point? You know how many businesses lost their business because they couldn't oh, yeah. afford the new? No, but... There was a why pellet is company there is, why that spent millions all, of dollars and still went out of why business. Why is it all this time later that it's coming to court for question now? That's my thing. Why is it all this time later? Because you have money to stall it. Because we want you to look at this and not look at that where you just might get a look. Don't look over here. It's a million dollars. So don't look at that bad, case. But their lives look didn't what, change. Look what going else is going on. That might be a union is getting another law passed through to help protect their pension. Or something else is going on now. No, and just look no. at that. People, the definition. How come no one's talking about Cicilline's brothers? What's the definition of value though? to you? The definition of value? Yeah. It's the cost of something. Okay, so you both, and I'm not saying you. When you say the word value, I would, and it's just a guess. I would say we should probably try this. 
at least 85% of the people do it on a monetary basis and not on a morality basis. Because no. if somebody said the word value to me, I think values. What are your core values? Yeah, but Where we're most just people, talking about money. No, I know, but most people think money. The connotation of value, a long time ago, morality got kicked out for profit. If it was really important, peace was really important, wouldn't we go in when one person dies in a country that we get absolutely nothing from? If it was all about humanitarianism? He's talking about humanitarianism. That's right. There's no profit to be made. Drugs, it's not about drugs No, if there's not a profit to be profit. made. Yep, there's not a profit to be made. We don't necessarily give a riot, rat ass what's happening to you and your people. Yeah, so true. stop with the bullshit that, oh, we're humanitarians. You're killing our people who took an oath to defend the rights of people and freedom in this country. You got some jackass over here. Can't you spend some billion dollars of aid on our streets? You're giving people air-conditioned buildings over where they've lived in mud huts forever. <laughs> and I can't get the airport to do sound abatement on my house. And they yeah, but the sound's coming it. from within your house. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so Sorry about all the yelling, but see, that's why uh, we have to well. realize that you're going to agree to disagree, sometimes quite loudly, but at least let somebody get the whole thought out. That's all. Revolutions don't start without conversations. Uh, I don't have it in me for the revolution. I'm still getting over the gold the Brown Round Day party. That was a blast. That was fun. That was fun. I really do want to see the, the videos. Thank God it was videos that, that you don't know who took it. Had I don't know. I thought it was you. Had to be. Could have been. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been. I remember all the tape tests. Yeah, hey, we're going to go watch this video and figure You're out what... You're going to see that... I don't know if I want the to. The groundhog meat that was on my table. Oh, I don't even... Oh, man. I, see? I, I had, see? No, man. I peach iced watch. tea. Okay, that's my... That's it. I'm happy with peach iced tea. I, I, I don't need to drink. Funny, but I didn't feel good. <laughs>